up guys? CP the Tulati. Woo! We just left the uh, customer's place and uh, we're traveling home. You might notice it's rainy, drizzly, all that business. And uh, some of you might be actually going, why you got sunglasses on CP? And well, I'm gonna tell you because my future's so bright, I gotta wear shades all the time. But that's actually not true at all. Uh, the biggest thing is is that polarized lenses, and I don't care what brand you use, polarized lenses actually cut glare down. And uh, that's not really a part of this video. That's not really what I'm intending to talk about in this video. But it is part of it. But I'm making a part of this video because I'm having a hell of a time getting home because traffic is horrible. Uh, but polarized lenses literally cut down the glare. And I wish I could show this on camera. Some of you guys probably know this. But uh, cuts down glare and it makes you. I almost got in an accident and I didn't see the car. I, I didn't see the car and I didn't have my glasses on. And I realized that's why it was because there were some raindrops and uh, you know I didn't have my wipers on right away and I missed out on that. So remember, sometimes tools are the ones you put on your face are definitely helpful. Uh, I highly recommend them, especially you guys that are out test driving and whatnot just makes a little bit of a difference but uh yeah we'll get some more going here when we get in the shop all right guys i'm not gonna josh around here showing you stuff in the shop but we want to talk about organizers ratchet organizers i guess you'll see here that i have some of these apex stand-up ones and then i have some of the tool organizers and uh i've got my reservations okay and uh, I want to talk about these because, you know, the biggest thing is fitment. I, I found, I have these, all these ratchets, which is obviously excessive, okay? So, I, I, if anybody's watching this, um, and we're going to go into a snap-on tool haul, and we're going to talk about the best tool haul, but the uh, half-inch ones do not fit uh, standing up. Uh, they hit my drawer, and uh, if you see there... So, they're kind of not really beneficial. you got to have the right size drawer for them. Uh, they probably fit in a snap. They, I mean, obviously, I can fit them in a different drawer. Um, and I'm kind of talking about, and I want you guys to see this, because uh, Apex sent me these, just a couple of them, because that's it. I said I don't want a bunch of them. I'll just try them out and see what happens. And I already had these tool organizer ones, and I've been trying to work through <laughs> uh, organizing this mess, and obviously, I just don't have enough room. But... Um, <sighs> I kind of like the tool organizer ones better, I'll be honest with you, because it lays my ratchet down flat and gets it more flush. Um, these, you're getting a little bit more extra. Now, they do fit, don't get me wrong, on the 3 8 they do fit, but very tight clearance there. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence, and I want your guys' opinion on this, so I want you to tell me down in the comment box now. I know this looks like an absolute mess, and it pretty much is. I'm not going to lie to you. Not exactly what I want for organization, but I keep getting more ratchets, and I just throw them in there. You know, and this is how I was storing my ratchets like this. And you can see I really don't have any uh, clearance issues for depth. I don't want to take up drawer space because, honestly, the the whole thing behind a toolbox is, is that, you know, you want to use up every square inch and every cubic inch. You know, that means your depth and then your width across. So... Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about them. Tell me what you guys think. Do you like the way that Apex works? Um, or do you like the way that tool organizer works? I mean, it obviously raises the ratchet up. It's pretty quick. Um, and so is the, the tool organizer is too. And if you don't have it, the magnets are very strong. I will tell you that. Uh, and they actually hold the, they actually magnetize the ratchet in, which I do like. But uh, the, the tool organizer, or the Apex ones do work really well too, but... I don't know that I need my ratchet magnized. I'm, I'm just on the fence about it, so you guys let me know. You can store them either way, obviously. You know, that's kind of one of those things, but uh, I definitely need more of them. i got to figure out what I want to do, but I think we're going to wait till the new toolbox comes. So, Also, I am absolutely in love with this tray. Guys, I don't know how I went so long without this using this tray. This thing... This thing is amazing. Just this little guy right here makes it so much nicer. I wish they were magnetic down there. I think there is some or something. I haven't looked at them, but uh, that's another thing you guys can tell me in the comment box if you have these things. Uh, just, you know, just a simple fact is I can pick this 
whole gig up. It's a little bit harder to do one-handed, but uh, I can pick it up one-handed, as you see. A little bit flexible, but I can throw all my stuff in there. Just a true gem. I've been using the hell out of this thing, and I love it. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video because we're going to talk about the best tool in the entire world. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be a socket. Probably not going to be a mini hacksaw. Probably not going to be a blowgun. Probably not going to be a ratchet. Um, we're going to talk about these, and I'm going to tell you what the best tool in the entire world is. So stick around and listen to that if you want to. Um, and definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up. But let's talk about what I picked up from Snap-on, because this is like the world's smallest uh, Snap-on tool haul. All right, so uh, I picked up this HS5A mini hacksaw, um, and I kind of need to open this thing up so you guys can take a look at it. Hold on, let me get her opened up. So uh, some of the guys gave me crap at the shop that I bought this, and they were like, why would you buy a mini hacksaw? Blah, blah, blah. Well, in some instances, I get into a tight area. I can get in there and snip something off, and I used to have one, and I lost it, and I needed one, and I don't know where mine went to, because like a lot of things, they grow legs and walk off. So, so I have to rebuy them, because obviously they walk off, but the biggest thing about this is, is uh, I like this because you can profile it down here, and uh, you know, you can take the blade back. It uses a clamshell type uh, screw in there to clamp down on the blade. You obviously feed it through here. Some of you guys might see these. Some, I know guys might have used them. I remember back in the day I used to use them because you had to cut off the uh, coolant nipples on the 3.1s, the 3100s. Uh, but, yeah, you can bring it back here. It does have a little bit of, you know, watch yourself deal. But if you put it back here, you know, now you can ding, 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 cut it down. So I think this thing was like 15, 20 bucks. I don't even know. I just seen it in the catalog, and I was cruising around, and so I jumped on this because... Wanted to have one. Okay. Now, some of you guys, we're going to get to this, the best tool ever. Just hang on a second. I know you guys are probably dying to see what, but uh, I got this blowgun. I put this up as terrible tool Tuesday is one of the worst blowguns. And uh, the blowgun itself is not terrible. I want to say that. This is made in Denmark. Um, right there, it says it on the handle. Uh, I like the vacula style. This is a vacula. Um, and you can see. I've actually put this through, and the reason why I like the Vacula is because it has this little retainer link ring, retainer clip, and then these things clip in there, and you can just pop your tips on, and I've got three different tips I can use for blowing stuff out, and uh, these work just fine, and I've had them for years. Now, these weren't cheap neither, but nonetheless, I was in a pinch one day, and I needed a blowgun. I was at a shop, and the Snap-on guy was there, so I picked up another one, which that's what I do sometimes, um, but... It came with this stupid rubber tip, and I think he charged me 11 bucks for this worthless rubber tip, which blows off. And then as I did that video on the worst blowgun, somebody said you had to buy this. Well, I went and paid the money and bought for this one, because I already have the blowgun. Obviously, I'm not going to return it, because I'm using it. And uh, so now I got this blow tip, and we'll, get the, we'll use this. And this has got a retainer clip on it. No retention on this. You just simply stick it on here. And now it, it like it like your airlines do or like your brake lines do on semis and stuff like that. It's got this, yeah, stupid little thing, but it holds on there. We'll we'll use it and see what it thinks. The tip's a little bit larger than a smaller tip, but it's got a good point to it. Different blow guns, but nonetheless, none of these are the perfect tool. And I'm sure some of you are going to enjoy this. Some of you might not. But the perfect tool actually comes down to um, patience, guys. I had, to, I had to explain this to a couple guys today, this week because people were getting frustrated. And after all, the end of, at the end of the day, no matter how many tools you buy, the perfect tool is going to be patience. And uh, I can't stress that enough. And I know you might be disappointed because you're probably thinking, you know, the snap-on and whatnot. It might be a little bit clickbaity, uh, whatever. The point is, I want to get you guys in here real deep to listen, because at the end of the day, working on stuff, and I got to tell you, how many of you guys, when you're putting on nuts on your fingers here, uh, you can tell I get calluses on my fingers. How many of you guys get that from putting running nuts on? And I get frustrated too, but having patience is absolutely the best tool that you could ever have 
in your entire life. Uh, and, and any tool you can use in your life. And I just want you guys to understand that, that, uh, no matter what, how bad your day is, no matter how, how hard your job is, step back, get some patience. And then we, I think we all need to do that right now. It's just one of those things. But, uh, anyways, guys, appreciate you as always. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.